My name is Casey Bierbauer, and this is Eighth Day on Channel 12. We will be discussing the pros and cons of assimilation. I have four guests here today. On my right, I have Vanessa, who is for assimilation, and on my left, I have Angela, who is against assimilation. Vanessa, how like how do you feel about assimilation? What are the advantages? I personally believe assimilation is good. It's adopting one culture and one nation, unify, which allows the nation to unify as one. And then everyone also is treated the same. Because we all have the same culture, we all believe in the same, uh, you know, we all believe in the same like everyday life. And so, that is why I think assimilation is good for a nation to unify. Well, she does have a point. According to American progress, the longer immigrants are here, the more advanced and better they are integrated into our society. This is Angela here, and she is not for assimilation. What are some of the disadvantages of some of assimilation? Even though I agree that that culture is a good thing, but personally, I think that when immigrants come into a new land, they should have a diverse diversity and their own culture so that other people will have fun experiencing new cultures with other people. Thank you, Angela and Vanessa. Now I have two more guests that are going to be discussing this topic with us. I have on my right, Noelle, and on my left, Sunny. Mm -hmm. But you're for assimilation along with Vanessa. Yes. What are the disadvantages of multiculturalism? Well, I mean, some disadvantages are there are way too many different jobs because all the different cultures kind of clash and then people won't get along and then it could just start different types of things or too many different areas of cultures and stuff. Well, Sunny, what would you have to say the advantages of multiculturalism is? Well, like, the nation can't have multiculturalism because... When like some people are assimilating, some people it's not fully assimilated, so cultures can be mixed up and like the country will be like black. Yeah. Must the unified nation have a single culture? I would say yes, because you know there are different nations that have different cultures, and if you're going to be a one nation, you need to respect their culture. And while I do think bringing other cultures is you know like a good idea, you need to like know where you are and respect that culture. What, what would you have to say? What a uni must a unified nation have a single culture? Well, yeah, like, it can have single culture, but, like, assimilating, like, it requires assimilating for all the people is not a good idea because you can't, like, force them to lose their culture that they have been living through their life. Today we discussed the pros and cons of assimilation. Each person had a good side to their story. What do you think about assimilation? Leave your comments at aday.com.